Yo, how is it going, Bears fans? I am your host, Chris, and welcome back to another episode of the Bear Down Podcast. Today, I am joined with my co-host, Jalen. What's up, man? What's up, bro? So, uh, the Bears training camp has started. I would like to say, before this starts, me, Jalen, and Parth, who obviously isn't here right now, we're trying to plan a trip to get down to Bourbon A soon. Uh, we are recording this on July the 26th. And we are planning on going either July 30th, August 4th, or August 5th. So that's either going to be this upcoming Monday, next Saturday, or next Sunday. So we'll keep you updated on that for any of you guys who would be interested in meeting us. I doubt anyone would, but anyone who would be interested in seeing us down there, uh, that is going to be when we're down there. And then I hopefully myself will be up on the 11th that night when they have like all the fireworks and crap, the night practice. But... Um, we did this video a few months ago. We wanted to do another one post-draft. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Bears schedule in 2018. We're going to be doing predictions. So, uh, I don't, I really don't remember who I picked in the last video. I think I had the Bears going a pretty good record as, as well as you. We did this one before the draft, a couple nights before the draft, before the Bears picked Roquan Smith and added Anthony Miller and a ton of more threats. So it might, might change our predictions up a little bit, but, uh, let's hop right into week one. We've got Green Bay. Who do you have? Green Bay, you know, see, Green Bay does has a terrible roster, but Aaron Rodgers is like a, they're always playoff contenders. So uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be optimistic and I'm gonna give us an air right here just to start off. With. Yeah, I I think I chose the Bears last week in this one or last time in this one as like a toss up, and thinking about it, um. I kind of do think that even though we're going to have the preseason and stuff before, you kind of got to kind of kick the wheels off on this team with all with the new offense and everything. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be ready to go right out the gate. or it's uh, it, It'll be ready to go, but I don't think it's going to be perfect right out the gate. So I'm going to give us a uh, L in a close game in that one. Uh, week two, we've got Seahawks at Bears, Monday Night Football. I've got the Bears in that one. Seahawks are yes. looking pretty bad. Yeah, same. Their defense is... Especially that Legion of Boomer there. Yeah, seriously. Cam Chancellor's gone, and Earl Thomas it looks like as of this week. Play for them no more. Yeah, Earl Thomas is looking like he wants to get traded to the, uh, I think it was like Raiders. Oakland. Yeah, Oakland, yeah, which is crazy, considering that's like their, one of their rival teams. Um, next, we've got a Sunday game. In the afternoon, we've got Bears at Arizona Cardinals. I will say Josh Rosen is looking pretty good. Uh, the last time we did this video... Uh, they didn't have Josh Rosen. Now, I think they also drafted... Who did they draft? They drafted a wide receiver. Christian Kirk. Kind of they got thing. Kirk, yeah. So, they have him, Larry Fitzgerald, and a healthy David Johnson. So, ah, it comes down to who has the better defense. When I look at Arizona's defense, I only see them having Chandler Jones, really. Because uh, Tyron Matthews gone. Patrick Peterson is still there. But um, Chandler Jones obviously will have an immediate impact. And hopefully Roquan Smith will also have an immediate impact by that time. But I'm going to pick the Bears right there in a tight game. I, th- those those two teams look pretty similar to me. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with the same thing. But they're, I think they, they I think their defense is very underrated. They did decide to Trey Boston from the Chargers last uh, – he was on Chargers last Trey year. Trey Boston, yeah. Had, a, had, a, had an underrated season. But I don't see uh, – other than, like, like you said, uh, Larry Fitzgerald – a healthy David Johnson, Christian Kirk, and I'm pretty sure they have other receivers. But I'm going to just go with us because, you know, our team is – I'm, I'm going to say our team is all around better. So let's go into uh, week four, two, one. All right. Uh, next, we're back at home. We've got Buccaneers at Bears. That's a tough one, dude, because the Buccaneers, since the draft, have added some good pieces on defense. They got both Vinny Curry and Jason Pierre-Paul on the D-line, which makes them really scary with Gerald McCoy up there. Ah. Uh, Ah, oh, man, that's a toss-up. They also have some really good receivers. They pounded us last year. Uh, and to be honest, I think it's going to be a close game. I could see us losing that one, so I'm going to give that one to the Bucks. Give that one to the Bucs. But they added Mitch Unruh, too. Yeah, seriously. They took our guy. Um, I think I think this is going to be the first, the, um, the Jameis wants some return game from him to his suspension. Oh, yeah. So I don't know how, how well he's going to play. He could be playing bad, though. You don't know. We'll see how that goes. I mean, that's, I think that's the main reason why they blew us up last year. We had they had footage on us, and we don't have film on them. That's that's why, like the main reason why we had um, what plus my goodness, you know, terribleness. But um, I'm gonna give us an L too. Uh, they have a they they were supposed to be way better than what they did last year. So yeah, the only thing I probably I'd probably pick us if they didn't add those two good pieces on defense. But 
Jason Pierre-Paul's still good, and Vinny Curry I think is very underrated. So it, it's a it's re- I, I think that's really gonna be end up being a coin flip. Next we've got Bears at Miami Dolphins uh, on October fourteenth. Yeah, I, I just really don't see Miami having ever anyone. They got rid of Jarvis Landry. Was that after or before the draft? I think that was before. Uh, before. Yeah, that was before. That was like right at the start of free agency. That was before free agency. Yeah, yeah. It was like the day before free agency. Uh, Landry, yeah, he, he said some harsh things about Miami since then. I will say I am happy that they have uh, they have Ryan Tannehill back, and they also have – who's that receiver from from Kansas City that the Bears were going to sign that they signed for a ton of money? Albert Wilson. Albert, Albert Wilson. Wilson, yeah. So that's really their number one wide receiver. I can't see them – Posing much of a threat to us with him and Kenyon. They have the they have, Parker too, and they also have uh, Kenyon Drake, but I don't think they have the pieces to beat us, so I'm going to give the Bears the win in that one. I'm going to have to agree because I don't, honestly, I don't know what they have. Um, they, <laughs> they got Rashad Jones and, and uh, oh, yeah, Patrick, yeah. but that's about it on the defensive side of the ball. So I don't know how their like, their defense is going to stop Allen Robinson telling you everything going on. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. I'm going to give Bears a dunk. All right, next game, we've got Patriots at Bears. Um, since the draft, Brandon Cooks has been traded to the Rams. I think that was after the draft. I think that was after the draft. No, it was before. Man, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, bringing that up, uh, Julian Edelman also is going to be gone, but he'll be back by then. Oh, dude, their, their offense is just so weak. They, they don't have any receivers. But I'm not going to go against them. Uh, I hate to say I'm not going to go against the Patriots, but I don't think I am. I'm going to give the Bears a loss in that one just because of how magnificent the offense have been, has been. I'm going to agree because it is Tom Brady at the end of the day. All right. Next we have Jets at Bears. Now, since the draft, the Jets have acquired a new quarterback, Sam Darnold. They also have Teddy Bridgewater and Josh McCown to still fall back on. Uh, nonetheless, I don't think the Jets have the offensive pieces that we do. Um, they have Terrell Pryor now, which is a pretty good pickup. But uh, I think we've added more pieces than they are. And envisioning how I think this team's going to be playing at that time, I'm going to take the Bears in that one. Same here. Um, the, the Jets are not a bad team at all. They, they, they <coughs> the Bears this offseason. But they still don't have as much talent as we do. Their receivers are Robbie Anderson, Terrell Pryor. And Quincy Robbie Moore. Anderson and is good. I'll say that. Yeah. He's good. Yeah, he just can't stay, um, can't stay like off. He can't stay out of trouble. The running back, I really don't know who their running back will be by this time. And their quarterback, same thing, I don't know. Their defense, though, they have two good safeties. Um, their corners, all right. They have Tremaine Johnson, who's um, who's okay. Um, so, you know, I'm just get the Bears done right here. We have we have a um, better team. But our, we, we, like, our, team are, um, our teams are very alike. You know, we have the same things that are good, like receivers mm-hmm. and um, Next we have Bears at Bills. So since since the draft, the Bills uh, they traded down with the Buccaneers in the draft and selected Josh Allen and then Tremaine Edmonds, the guy that you wanted the Bears to draft. Um, so two very solid pieces added for them. Personally, I think it would have been smarter if they traded their pick to the Eagles and gotten Nick Foles just because of how solid he's been. I heard that option was definitely on the table for them, and they decided to take Edmonds instead. Or take Edmonds and Allen instead. But um, I'll take the Bears in that one. It'll be a close game, but I'm going to take the Bears in that one. Also, LaShawn McCoy's in some hot water right now with the domestic violence. I don't even know what's going on with that case. But uh, that could end up in a suspension. I'm not sure. I heard I heard that if all those claims against him are true, he could be like banned from the NFL. So who knows where he's going to be at that point. I'm, I'm sure he'll be playing, but... Uh, I'm gonna take the Bears in that one either way. I'm gonna just say this right now: if he, if some, if some allegations are true, first of all, he won't be banned from the NFL. He'll be put in jail. Cause yeah. Of, like, did you see? Did you see her face, bro? Yeah. I say it was like uh, it was an <laughs> order. Anyway, yeah, like, seriously. That's, that's but who knows? We're we're not uh, investigators, so we don't know what's gonna happen there. Yeah. Uh, it's not um, investigation discovery. But anyway, they have a, a really uh, a really good defense. Their safeties are very underrated with micro. Uh, Micah High and uh, what's the dude named Jordan Poirier or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, 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 have both, they, have, they both had like five interceptions last season, so they know how to get to the ball. But their quarterback situation is confusing. They have AJ McCarron and Josh Allen, so I don't. And there, and hey, don't forget about my don't forget right. about my boy Nathan Peterman, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, bro, throw, throw in the king. Throw in the king. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can use five picks. We can use five picks. But um. 
the receivers are aren't that good. The receivers are Kelvin Benjamin, who who is a who's a decent little receiver, and um Zay Zay I forgot his name. Oh Zay Jones. Oh, the guy that did the weird walking up thing. Like the weird, huh? you know, he did that weird standing up thing. Oh yeah, well, like when you yeah. I'm gonna if I, if I if I can find that clip, I'll play it now. It's like the coolest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> oh yeah, like, no, I know what you're talking. I know what you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm gonna give the Bears a dub right here. Um, we're just a better team. They do they do have a good defense though. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. That defense. Yeah. All right. Next, we've got Lions at Bears. Uh, I always say we're gonna beat the Lions. I'm gonna give us one win against the Lions this year, and it's gonna be this one at home. Uh, their defense isn't that great. They did add Legarrette Blunt, I think. Did they add Legarrette Blunt? Yes, they did. Um, otherwise, I don't really think they added much of anything. Their receivers, I mean, still Golden Tate and Marvin Jones, who's really starting to come out of his shell, I think, and be a really good receiver, Marvin Jones. But uh, I'm gonna give the Bears that one at home. Since yeah, I see us splitting with the uh, Lions this year, and um, we, we, the, uh, the the team at home always plays better, or usually plays better. Then they do a waste. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna give us a, um, a W rating. All right, next one we got Vikings at Bears. Uh, I'm gonna give us two L's to the Vikings this year. Uh, I think we're we're getting up there, but we still probably need a few more pieces to be able to beat them. We'll see how that Kirk Cousins thing uh, pans out. I actually don't think it's gonna pan out well, but I'm gonna give us a close game loss in that one to the Vikings. I think they're too strong on both sides of the ball. I'm gonna give us an L right here too. But I can see a split with them. We always feel like the last couple of years we played them week seventeen. Yeah. And if they're if they're if they're doing good and they're projected to be, they might rest their starters unless they like they play against them just to get us out of the playoffs. But I can see us splitting right here. But I'm gonna give us a hill right here. All right. Oh, uh, we've got Bears at Lions, dude. I feel like whenever the Bears go into uh, into Ford into into Detroit, they just get smacked like every year. <laughs> I think is this on what what day what day what day is uh Thanksgiving this year? Is it the same day every year? I thought it's like the third Tuesday of the month or something. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. This might be a Thanksgiving game. It's on eleven twenty two at eleven thirty a.m. I think that is a Thanksgiving game actually. Yeah, yeah, because the other ones are at twelve. I think that's a Thanksgiving game. Yeah, we're playing on Thanksgiving, I think. Uh, but no, that wouldn't make sense though because we're not prime time. I'm, I'm, dude. I don't even know. I don't want to sound stupid, but uh, either way, I'm gonna give us the L. Same, same. Going to Detroit, um, Detroit put, always plays good at home. All right, here's an interesting one. We got Bears at New York Giants. Uh, I must say, before anything else, I hate all this hype that Saquon Barkley's getting when he hasn't played it down in the NFL yet. Like, I understand his jerseys are selling and stuff, but uh, Adam Schefter made like a fantasy football team of like best players in the last two years to enter the league, and he had Saquon Barkley in there. Like, the guy hasn't even touched the ball yet, so. It's all good. I'm sure he'll be good. But uh, I'm going to give the Giants that one. I think their offense is really high-powered. Uh, if Eli Manning is playing well, uh, their defense is... Uh, man, honestly, I can't really name many players on their defense. But... Uh, Janoris Jenkins? Janoris Jenkins is on the... Uh, is he on the Bills? No, he's on the Giants. Janoris Jenkins. His brother... His, his, he was, uh, his brother was a dude that killed the dude. I know. His brother... Yeah, he's in the Giants. Yep, you're right. Yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give the Giants that one just because I think their offense is really well, really good. Oh, they got Landon Collins, too. I forgot about Landon Collins. Yeah, jeez. They got rid of Pierre Paul, though. <laughs> um, I'm going to give us an L right here, too. You know, the Giants are a good team. Now they have a better coach than they did. Than, I, I can't even you know, they did coach from last year. But <laughs> Pat Shermer always killed us, you know. Last, except actually last season, you know, we, we couldn't even come close to being the Giants other than Mitchell Trubisky's first start. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to just give the Giants a win right here. Pat Sherman is an amazing offensive minded coach, so I'm going to give them the win. All right, next game we got Rams at Bears, dude. The Rams are so sick. They got they added since the draft. Or no, not even I don't even know if it's since the draft, but they've added this offseason. They've added Akeem Tlaib, Marcus Peters, and Dominican Sue, and Brandon Cooks. I think they're making it to the Super Bowl. AKA, I think they can run through the Bears. So I'm going to give. Also, Todd Gurley just signed an extension. He's there for a while now. They're trying to re sign Aaron Donald. He's holding out of camp right now. I know that for a fact. I'm going to give the Bears the L on this one. Same. I mean, this is not even up for discussion. Like, they're a way better team. You know, they have they, they have very good coaching, uh, Sean McVay. But I just have to say this they're not going to have no cap space next year. Yeah. Especially if they re sign Donald. They have a bit now, but they got to use that money on him. 
I can they may really reset the running back market. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, next we got Packers at Bears. I gave us one loss to the Packers. I'm going to give us one win here. I think by this time our offense is going to be good. I mean, it's week week 16, and hopefully at this point we'll be making a push to either somehow win the division or try to claim a wild card spot. So uh, I'm going to give the Bears the win over the Packers at home. I couldn't agree more. Um, our offense should be, you know, very real rounded next year, or like we should like know Mitchell should know what his receivers are going to do. And uh, the uh, same as vice versa. Uh, so I'm going to give us a weapon right here. Um, I just feel like our offense is way better than theirs, uh, other than like the quarterback position. Our defense is way better than theirs. They have no corners. Their safeties aren't in. Eh. So I'm going to give us a win right here. All right. And finally, we've got actually what could be a very, very, very important game. We've got Bears at 49ers week 17. That could be a, that could be one to get into the playoffs and whatnot. Oh, man, dude. That's week 16. That's week 16. Is it? Yes. No, I think it's week 17. Either that or I'm missing no, a game. The Vikings play. We played the Vikings week 17. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, yeah, it won't pop up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's still going to be a very important game. Um, I mean, they got Jimmy G, and their receivers are worse than ours. I think their defense is also a little bit worse than ours. They also have some really young pieces on defense. It's in San Francisco. I'm going to give us a W in, like, overtime in this game. <laughs> yeah, agree. That's so tough. Like, we That's... shouldn't have lost to them last year. The only reason we lost to them last year is because of our offense. And our defense Our defense stopped them from scoring or from scoring a touchdown. But we, they were always a good one. Mm-hmm. Hey, but um, I'm going to give us a, I'm gonna give us a dub right here. Let's go into week 17. Hopefully already in the playoffs or making a strong push for a wild card. Before See, this is, this is tough. We're at the Vikings. I can't give us a win in this one. I, I honestly can't give us a win in this one. I'm just going to be straight honest with you. I'm going to give us a loss in that one. So we'll see how it pans out at the end of the season, but I think it could come down to those last few games. Well, if we're pushing for a wild card position in Week 17, <coughs> we know the Vikings aren't going to rest their, rest, <coughs> rest their starters. So Yeah, that is true. Yeah. They could have um, whoever their backup quarterback would be now without Bridgewater, without Keenum like, and Bridgewater. Trevor Simeon or something? Probably like Trevor Simeon. Oh, yeah, they got Simeon. I forgot in New York. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to give us the loss in that one. Uh, yeah, I'm agree. But we'll see. We'll see. It, it depends on the circumstances. Or if we're pushing for a, a playoff spot. But if we're already in the playoffs, I can see us winning because they might be resting our starters. But yeah. If we're pushing for a lot, it give us a loss. All right, and I would like to say, I'm going to ask one more question, but before I ask that question, uh, I am going to say uh, every week, including the preseason probably even, we're going to be doing weekly um, predictions on each individual game. So every week you'll get videos from us. I, I assume when the season starts, I mean, it's summer right now. We said we were going to post more, but to be frank, I mean, we're going to try to get to training camp and hopefully get some clips there for you guys and maybe talk to some players. But otherwise, there's not that much to talk about as of now. That's why we did this. But we'll probably have an update on training camp coming soon. One last question for you, Jalen. Uh, do you think the Bears are going to make the playoffs? Of course. All right, yeah, I'm going to be optimistic as well. I'm going to I'm gonna give us a wild card spot. I don't think we're going to take the division, though. I think three teams from the NFC North could get in this year. Um, our division's looking really strong. But... Look for one more of these. We're going to do three of these. So we had pre-draft, and now we've got, like, post-draft slash training camp. And then we're also going to have, like, uh, I guess just, like, right before the season starts, like, preseason. After cuts and everything, like, you see. You yeah, we'll see, we'll see how they play in, uh, in the preseason, and then we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. But that's going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, we'll have an announcement within the next, like, two or three days on when we're going to be heading to training camp. We're trying our best to figure that out. And uh, who knows? We have a small channel as of now, but hopefully we can meet some of you guys in the future. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Anything to say? Bear down, Chicago. See you guys. Peace.